is my 12 piece essential survival kit. Now this all fits in this trusty freezer bag, quart size freezer bag. I get Ziploc because they're the best. It's pretty, keeps my gear dry and intact. So everything fits in there but this. It's an um, Inventure Medical Kit, Heat Sheets, Emergency Bivy. See, it's small, fits in my hand. It's really nice, it's in a reusable stuff sack. But I, what I also did is I put it inside of a plastic bag because these things are horrible when they're wet and not comfortable. But this will reflect 90% of my heat back to me and weighs three and a half ounces. It is waterproof and windproof and is bright orange so you can see it from a long ways away. And it's made out of polyethylene instead of polyester. So it's more durable and quieter. And since it's a bivy sack, it's more like a sleeping bag. And these are really nice, just they're not very comfortable when they're wet. Okay. Then I have an Adventure Medical Kit Heat Sheet Emergency Blanket. This I usually use for insulation. This I normally use for shelter. So anyway, this will hold two people in it. So it's big. This weighs less than three ounces. And it has survival instructions on it. This will also reflect 90% of my heat back to me and is windproof and waterproof and it's a lot also made out of polyethylene so it's also very durable that's really a great thing to have and because it's orange it's reflective and you can see it from a long ways away then I also have a standard garbage bag works great I normally use it for catching water and like solar stills because I don't really need it for shelter. Or what I can do, so I use it for sometimes, is to store firewood in, or tinder if it's going to rain. So I have that for, and I can catch water like in a, like I said. That's what I normally use it for. Then I have a pocket survival pack by Adventure Medical Kits. Keeps season. It's like its own separate kit, but it's pocket size. And it like just keeps a bunch of vital stuff in it, and it keeps it more organized. Like uh, it has snare wire, uh, fishing kit, whistle, magnesium, duct tape, tinder in case it's been raining. This also has a lot of survival instructions in it. This is also waterproof and it has more aluminum foil, and I'll get to aluminum foil in a minute. Okay. Now you've seen that. It's like a 32 piece kit. It's a really great thing to have though. This is some snare wire. Extra snare wire. You can never have enough. This will make two, and the piece in there will make one. So that triples my chances of catching. Well, I guess this doubles it. As opposed to not carrying it all. Really weighs next to nothing and uh, just tiny so then anyway I have two individual one square foot pieces of aluminum foil Reynolds wrap it is super duty so it's super strong and I normally use that to make pots that's what normally works best with that but then I have a couple packs of salt because salts and minerals are good to have while you're surviving. Keeps you healthy. I have zip ties. Great thing to keep. Nice and strong. Great for shelter building. And they don't ever loosen over time. And you can tighten them without accidentally loosening it. So, then I have another quart size freezer bag from Ziploc. Normally to hold the water that I either catch or boil so that's how I hold that and I boil the water with starting fire with either this magnesium well 
it's flint on top and little if you shave little pieces of magnesium off these this big spark will hit the magnesium and burn it well you can get tinder on it so that is what I normally start fire with but then I also have a MRE style book of matches these are more work better when it's like damp and stuff than like a regular book of matches and it takes up very little space as you can see so then I so then I all I think this is my last piece 200 feet or I think it's two feet 250 feet of super strong kite string so if it's great for shelter building tying you can probably make snares with it good fish I guess with it it's super strong because it's kite string and that's it